Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. Oh, the word loyalty is something that people don't talk about much today. The appearance of our behavior today would make us think that loyalty is very unpopular. It's an unpopular word. Loyalty should be very easy to recognize, shouldn't it? When you have people who are loyal, loyal to you, you're not afraid to take risks and make mistakes or fall short uh, occasionally because loyal friends don't abandon you. Uh, they uh, encourage you. But most important, being loyal will allow those you love to be true to their values, allowing respect and trust all the time. Loyalty must never be blind or submissive. In other words, you don't be loyal to anyone that's going to do what's wrong. You just don't. Loyalty demands integrity and consistency. It demands it. You cannot be loyal to anything you cannot trust. You just can't be loyal to it. It demands uh, integrity and integrity and consistency. Uh, in order for any nation to reflect the the image of God, its people must be devoted, must be loyal, and have its complete allegiance to God and His principles. That is so important. But like I said a minute ago, loyalty is so unpopular in this day and time. You know, our forefathers of very strong Christian values felt that our nation needed a constant reminder about God and his provision. This is many, many years ago, back in the 1800s. Uh, they decided we needed something to remind us of God's uh, loyalty. And so they put into law back in Congress, back in 1864, uh, and a, and this was in a way to unite us, to re unite this nation under God, to give us this national hope. So in November uh, 13, 1861, several people of faith around this great nation began several uh, petitions and they sent to the Secretary of Treasury to put God's name on our nation's currency. It was felt that God's protection needed to be recognized. And so what did they do? On our coins and on our currency, they put, in God we trust. Fast forward to July the 30th, 1956, Congress and then President Dwight D. Eisenhower approved this, in God we trust. Well, what does that teach us? How does this impact our lives today? Oh, how things have changed, haven't they? How divided we have become. No nation can survive without trust in God. You know, in Proverbs uh, chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, Solomon writes, Trust in the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. And so what better way to acknowledge Him than to put on our currency, In God we trust to unite a nation. Uh, <clears throat> so no nation really can survive without the trust in God. It is just impossible. It will not happen. So it's better to trust God than to trust man's fickle ways because one day we're one way, the next day we're another. God's protection and love will always be needed, always. Our nation has gone through so much and it is our allegiance to God that is the only thing that can save us. It's the only reason I believe why we're still here today. Oh, Lord, it is such a precious activity. We have so much to point to, uh, to take for granted. We have so much that we have each and every day. And, you know, it seems like we take a, a lot of things that we have, we take it for granted. 
We push away God's hand of protection. We cry for more. Uh, we are just so disrespectful to those that have paved the way before us. Uh, and in the end of the day, without God, we are really nothing. We need God. Our forefathers knew we needed God. They knew we needed someone to unite us. And that someone is God. In God, we trust. This is the very most important thing. And that's what we're talking about. Loyalty must never be blind or submissive. In other words, we don't uh, go along with things that are wrong. And that seems to be the very thing that is dividing us today, is we've forgotten what wrong is, and we're trying to make wrong right, and it's just not possible. It's in God that we trust. Thank you, my friends. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101.